So um, if you do what I do, then you have a look at the HFP uh, forum from time to time. And um, yeah, it wasn't like an, an old, th and it's not that old, but it was, there was a question about, is there a word cloud content type? And um, I don't, you know word clouds, so we can enter words and some algorithm will arrange them on the page. Um, yeah, and um, there was a question, is there such a content type? And uh, back then I answered, no, there is not. And um, wouldn't work the way you want to have it because one API is missing, a so-called multiplayer API. That is something which will be implemented very soon, or I guess it is implemented already, uh, but not released yet, which will allow to um, yeah, bring people together. So right now, you, when you have HFP content, it's for yourself, it's for one person. So you can answer questions and you can um, um, yeah, answer questions, let's say answer questions, basically. And of course, you can report the results to like a teacher, but that's it. You don't have like synchronous um, discussions with your teacher and uh, no discussions or anything else between students at the same time. Um, neither synchronously or asynchronously, doesn't matter. So there's no forum or things that you could do because it's not possible right now. But this multiplayer API will allow that. So um, it will give you a chance to, if you want to create new content types, for example, which could, uh, which could you, uh, my most favorite example is like um, collabor collaboratively, which is a difficult word, um, annotate videos, for example, which uh, I think is a great way of learning. If you watch a video and you can add your notes, and not just one person, but many persons, you can see the notes, share the notes, start discussion on that. Um, you could do that actually with this multiplayer API uh, when it is released. So, um, Scrolling down, then last week I think yeah it was yeah it was last week, I noticed this one uh, this comment and it caught my attention because um, I was looking for something like that too and I found this and I had not found this, so um, I will open that first. Let's go there and you will see it's uh, a page of the Victoria University who are a sponsor of HFP so. Um, I guess they wanted to have this content type that you see here. It's a word cloud tool and I can't show it to you live because I just have um, these screenshots and the, the source code unfortunately is not public. Um, yeah, but obviously you can um, create word clouds and um, it's not just about creating word clouds, but um, it is about creating them live so students can... Uh, I can just show you. So. Um, there's like this is a tutorial where it shows how it's done, and as you can see, they use hfv.com. They have uh, using that one, hfv learning and this is now where the fun starts. So they already have this word cloud content type, and I guess this little green icon, oh no, might indicate it's multiplayer API dependent. I'm not sure, not sure but this might indicate many yeah, three people. And um, if you create that, you can set a title, of course, and you can have a question. Um, the example has working from home made you more productive. And then there are two modes. And the first mode, you can where you can predefine answers, yes or no, or could be whatever. Um, and um, yeah, then based on the answers, H5P would live <laughs> uh, create the the cloud. So maybe you would have let's say 90% say yes and. 10% say no, and they would have like a big yes and a small no. That's the first mode. And the second mode would be like, um, what is it? It's not here. Oh, there's no. There. You can um, like have a free, free response mode where you can um, just receive all the words that students type, and then those will be arranged in the word cloud. And. Um, yeah, okay, you can also have some, some background music, so it is a little entertaining. And then um, there, obviously, there are some predefined color schemes that you can choose from, and um, it is kind of nice because they seem to be um, have been created with accessibility in mind. So this is WCAG2.OAA, I mean, it is um, accessible. You, I, I guess you can define your own colors here as well, but. And with these, you can be sure the contrast is good and people don't have problems with reading it. So um, that's word cloud. Um, that's just some extra stuff. So I don't know when this will, will be available. And um, 
um, yeah, I guess soon, but um, there may be some limitations, and I will come to those in a second. That's the first one, then the second one that I found is kind of similar, but also nice. It's um, not a word cloud, but you can, let's scroll, let's scroll, let's scroll. Um, it's called emoticon cloud, so instead of words, you can uh, have a list of emoticons that you can choose from, like from a, like, like a Likert scale from uh, very bad to very good. And then uh, students can choose and uh, that's uh, what the result is, I guess. So um, you can like uh, see um, how many people answered with what emoticon. So that will be available soon like, as well. Um, yeah, then that's your question, Martin. I'll answer that in a second. So uh, when will this be available? As I said, I don't know. What does this, does it require? Definitely it requires that requires my god i should drink something probably and i'm talking pretty fast because i'm a little nervous i have to admit hmm. okay so what are the limitations of the requirements it requires the multiplayer api and unfortunately that will not be available at first or, or at first it will be available only for hfp.com so it will be not be available for the free uh, version of HFP uh, because there are some technical difficulties because it's written in different language than plain PHP that is used by the regular HFP. So um, I guess it will come at some point in time, um, but I think we'll answer it here as well with it. Um, um, up, 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 up. No, it's not answered here. Um, um, yeah, but that's the unfortunate part. So it will be available, but um, yeah, it will be kind of a, a premium for h5p.com users first. So um, yeah, I hope to get more info on that. But I don't have more info. I would like to tell you, but well, that is what I can tell you.